Hello, hello, and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. Bitcoin starts a little bit, yeah, short-term bearish into the week. We have a bit of a, we have a bit of a sell-off, and that trend line I shared with you over the weekend and end of last week, um, that's now broken. Now that's the first indication that maybe a top has formed, a more substantial top, which is more significant than any of the small swing highs in this move up from the 6th of September. That was the purpose of showing the trend line when the risk increases that the immediate top or that the top has already formed, okay? The last few days, I tried to share with you my perspective that we are very close to an important pivot, that ideally we stretch a little bit higher, but that risk is now high because we're quite far away from the support area and the risk for larger pullbacks increases, but that as long as we hold above the trend line, there is absolutely no evidence that a top has formed. Now, we are starting into the new week with a break of the trend line. Is this already confirmation that we have topped and that we are testing now the lower support region? It will mean that I'm definitely going to watch for it. And if there is a test of this lower support region, I'm, okay, I'm calling it lower support. We have one that is a little bit higher on the smaller time frame, but the one that is really relevant here to distinguish between the white bullish wave counts and the yellow ones, or the, the white count and the yellow one, that's the 55,480 level. So this is the key support level as part of this support area. There is another support zone for the microstructure on the smaller time frame that we can talk about um, when we switch to the one hour chart. But this is just something to, for anybody who's watching the daily chart, who's trading the daily chart or the larger time frames, um, if this pullback turns out to be corrective, and we should probably have an answer this week, then it could be an ABC structure in wave B and the 55,480 level will be key to determine whether the white count is unfolding or the yellow one. If we hit this support area and you know some, some people might wanna wait for further confirmation that indeed the white more bullish scenario is unfolding, well, in this case, you can always wait for an initial one, two setup in wave C of three to be able to set a tight stop loss before we go up higher, okay? Because that one, two setup should be a first rally followed by a higher low and would be a first signal that indeed a, um, that indeed a, a low has formed in wave B. But for me, it's about, okay, watching the trend line and watching those Fibonacci levels on the one hour chart to determine if a top of sorts has formed here and then we can watch this support area. And especially what really matters is the 55,480 level that the bulls turn up for the white count, that the bulls turn up before breaking below 55,480. So this is what I'm going to watch for in the coming days. Um, it depends really on whether the bulls can avoid a sustained break below the trend line and a break below the support region on the one hour chart, which we are going to talk about in a minute. But quick info that in the white count, obviously, you know, when we get this pullback and it's corrective, we're gonna watch for support in that region here between 60,830 and 55,480. And then, yeah, ideally watching for a reaction. The third wave should then take us to 74K, the third wave, and then we should get a four five pattern. And then we have all five waves completed. Then we can rule out the yellow scenario because in the yellow count, the rally from the 5th of August is a corrective rally which could lead to another low. So I always try to prepare you for the different outcomes. Important is to understand that 55,480 is the key pivot. To break, or if we break below that, it would further confirm the yellow count that can take us into the mid 40K region, which could also be an opportunity. So I'm watching for either a reaction from here or from down here. But I have to say, if we break down that much, it will also open the door to more bearish interpretations. Yeah, But around 45K, the, the price could attempt another rally. But again, when we get there, it's a great opportunity, but it would also require another one, two setup to confirm that we've actually bottomed. One, two setups are the setups on the smaller time frame we can work with. That would be a, a small micro five wave pattern to the upside, followed by a three wave pullback, um, which will form a higher low, which would indicate that the market is trying to turn around to the upside. Looking at the smaller time frame you can see that the market pretty much followed the analysis, but went down into the support area in a very direct fashion. Um, yesterday, we talked about a possible mini bull flag here, but we saw already in the last video that this is likely not going to play out. And indeed it moved down further, but very directly, okay? 
very directly. Now that um, is still for me a three wave move down at the moment. And as long as we have a three wave move down and we're not even breaking below upper support, I call that the upper support area because it's on our one hour chart. And it is the one that I shared to you with you already on Friday. So it shouldn't be any surprise that we've landed there because up here we were far away from support. Now we've hit support. And as long as we hold support, there is absolutely no sign that a top is in place. Yeah, not from an Elliott wave point of view, especially. Well, if we get five waves down, there would be, but there isn't a five wave move. That means, yes, we have a break of the trend line. Anybody who likes to trade trend lines, there you go. But they are not so relevant from from an Elliott wave point of view. OK. I simply show it to you because without a break of the trend line, we didn't have any signal that a top is in place. So now we can watch because this trend line is broken, something meaningful. But from an Elliott Wave point of view, our structure doesn't change until we break below 61,860. Or at least we don't have a signal because that level here is my signal level to say that we've started the pullback in yellow wave C of Y of 4 in the yellow count or the white B wave. Until we until we break below that 61,860 level, it could simply be an internal wave four of a still unfolding rally um, within the rally from the 6th of September low. Okay, so to make it I try to explain very very simple, uh, very simply, a break below 61,860 will indicate that the rally that started on the 6th of September is over, and that we're moving down in the next major or, you know larger correction. Um, and then we have a support area to watch on the daily chart. But yeah, we haven't even broken below all these swing lows. So there could be some, su some support here and uh, not below this trend line that I shared with you. And as I said, the move down is in three waves. So to summarize, we've just hit only the support zone, which is four wave four. We've got a three wave pullback and we haven't even broken structural support. So from that point of view, there isn't anything that would indicate that we are starting that um, larger correction, not from an Elliott Wave point of view. But I can tell you that if we see a corrective rally today, that could be yellow wave four here, because the yellow count here on the one hour chart shows how a five wave move down would look like. Why is that important? Because a five wave move down, even if we hold support, would indicate that we're not done yet with the correction. As long as we have a three wave move down, I can still watch for higher or at least it leaves the door open for higher. At the same time, I need to watch for signals here that the pullback is over. No signal yet. Um, I can tell you that it doesn't quite look finished yet, but any break now above 65,018 would indicate that the next leg up has started before then this larger pullback starts. Okay. So that's for me important to watch today, this support area and especially the structure, because at the moment the structure is in three waves. That's still potentially um, bullish, leaves the door open for higher price, even though the move down looks impulsive, but it's only in three waves. So it's not a five wave move. It doesn't confirm that a top is formed really. Okay. Locally, yes, but structurally here, nothing changed. I explained that to you in a way yesterday that this is a range and the market can do anything really here. Um, it's a lot of noise and it is not so meaningful from a structural point of view. Okay. Of course, risk up here was higher than it is now down here because we're now in a support region where the price can find support. It can fall far from up here and it did. And now we are in the support region and uh, we're very close to key signal levels. That's always when risk is lower because um, you get, you get notified quite quickly when things break. So that's the update about Bitcoin. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye.